All right, I've got a question for you. I have a simple expression. I'm combining or and and equality greater than. I have a variable called x. It's set to 7. And my question is, what does this evaluate to? And the reason I'm asking is that it has to do with operator precedence. So this will be a very quick video, but it's very important. When we're working with all operators, as we've already seen with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, certain operators have precedence over others. For example, division happens before subtraction. That also applies with logical operators. And it applies with operators like this one here, greater than. A logical guess would be to assume it goes from left to right. So we would have x equals 7. Well, that's true. Then we have true or x equals 3. That's false. So this whole thing, since we have the or right there, this whole thing becomes true. And then we have true and x greater than 10. Well, that's not the case, right? x is 7, so that's false. So then the whole thing becomes false. That's what you might think the answer is. But if we actually look and we paste it in, the answer is true. And the reason for this is because the AND operator takes precedence over OR. So this is going to run first. AND is going to look for a left and a right. And you can think of it as this right here. So is x equal to 3? Nope. So that's false. x greater than 10? Nope. So the whole thing is false. Only one part needed to be false. So this is false or true, which is going to give us true false or true. We need one side to be true. If we wanted the logic to actually work the way that we thought it did from left to right, we need to use parentheses to group this. We want this to run first. And if we run that, you'll see we get false. Because now we're checking this first. This thing evaluates to true. And then this thing evaluates to false. And the whole thing becomes false rather than what we had here. So the order does matter when we're working with these operators, especially the logical ones. This is the rough order. Well, this is the exact order. Logical not is going to run first, then logical and, then or. It can be confusing to remember all of this and keep track of it. So if you ever have any doubt, put parentheses in there. Parentheses will trump everything, and it makes it clearer how things are supposed to run there's no shame in adding extra parents. And if you go to MDN, this is kind of an interesting chart, there is a table that shows the precedence of every single operator. And you can see at the very top, the highest precedence is parentheses. That always wins, that always runs first. And as we scroll down, we can see we encounter logical not, and that comes before logical and, which is all the way down here, and logical or. So and before or, and not before both of those. And this also explains why something like this works. x less than 3 and x greater than 1. This is an operator and this is an operator. These are going to run first. So this on the left runs, this on the right runs, and then and does its thing. So we know that because we've been using AND for a while at this point, and we've seen how it works, but this chart explains that. As you can see, if I scroll down, greater than, less than, all those operators come first before AND and OR. All right, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to make that clear. There is an order, and it can be confusing to remember. So if you ever have any doubts, add in parens. It also makes it clearer for anyone else who's reading it because not all developers happen to remember that order off the top of their head either.